how do I optimize my ads when I don't have a lot of data? It's probably one of the hardest things I deal with uh, as a media buyer is when I have low amounts of data, but I have to make some cuts or I have to make some optimizations. So I'm gonna go in <clears throat> into my Google Ads account and show you how you might, you might wanna go about approaching this. My name's Sean Mysell, I'm an e-com store owner uh, and a paid media buyer that's helped five and six figure companies go to seven figures. And here is the overall picture that I, I just started these Google Ads last uh, Wednesday. Um, and you can see it's got about 12X return on ad spend on you know $376, so not, not a ton of spend, um, and 19 sales. So if I go inside my campaigns, I've got three running. I've got a branded campaign, I've got a retargeting YouTube campaign, and I've got a, uh, a cold traffic in-market uh, video campaign. So I'm gonna start here because I've got some sales, um, and I'm gonna go into the ads. What I've got here is I've got one that's really kind of an alpha male. Um, it's got four purchases uh, for this actually uh, new, new ad that I started running uh, based on more of an emotional appeal. And this one, this price one has one, um, but it's only spent $20. So that's a really good, uh, that's a seven X return on ad spend. And then this one here has just, the control ad has not, uh, you know, produced anything. In this case, I would probably just turn this one off um, because it hasn't produced a sale. It hasn't produced an ad to cart or a checkout or anything where, you know, these have, um, and, you know, actually this one here has produced a checkout for $20, not, not bad. Um, so I take that back about the 7x return on ad spend, but this one here, um, it spent $43 in four sales. I mean, that's really, really good. I mean, that's, you know, that's about on in line with what um, my return on ad spend averages for this account so far. So what I look for, I don't really worry about click-through rates or view rates, even though they are more important on Google than they are on Facebook. I'm just looking at the overall picture. And this this ad here just seems to get it done. Uh, when it comes to uh, getting people to, to raise their hand and, and buy. So that is this campaign. Now we're gonna go, actually we just go here, we'll go to the retargeting campaign. And you can see that again, this campaign, this purchase uh, campaign, or, or ad, I'm sorry, uh, for memories, uh, is spent $54. It's got four sales. Again, it's just fantastic. This one here is has is only is spent $85 and four add to carts, but no sales. And this one here, um, now this is interesting because this is kind of the control ad. It's spent $90 and it's got three sales. So with, again, really solid. That's a, a four and a half to five X return on ad spend. So I would probably cut this one here um, because it's just, it, it's, you know, it's spent a, a little, again, this is not a lot of data and this is, sometimes you have to make these decisions when you're dealing with lower budgets. Um, our budget will go up, you know, probably the first because Google tends to overspend uh, to make up for, you know, the difference for a month. Um, but this one here, this, this, this particular ad here, and I'll show you the copy. Um, it's just the control video that I've, I've been using uh, for my Facebook ads. It's just childhood memories. Bring back all your favorite childhood memories in one powerful handheld. Use code mini and check out for $25 off plus free shipping. And then I just, you know, use auto generate using your channel banner. It does, I don't think it makes a huge difference. So that, that is a quick overview of the YouTube campaign. So now let's go to the branded because there is a couple ads running in the branded. So you can see it's, this one is really rich in ROAS, but it doesn't spend a lot. Um, so let's just take a look at this one. We'll move this. Um, first we'll look at the ads and I've got two that are going. One is the childhood memory uh, theme, which is this one here. 
and you can see the clip through rates are about the same. They're about 30 to 34 percent. This one has a sale on $13, which is a, a, about 11x ROAS. This one has seven on $45. So this one, you know, theoretically you could say, well, this one's getting $6 a sale. Like this one's getting, you know, $13 a sale. Maybe we should just cut this one. I would keep both of them. If they're, if in this case, because they're both clearing your, your ROAS, you know, I, you know, target, which for me is like three, um, it's, it's, they're killing it. So I would just leave both these on and let them run for a little longer and see. I, I'm tempted to do another ad, but I kind of want to see how this plays out. And you can see the conversion rate on this one, you know, is uh, 9%. This one's 12%, you know, 13%. It, this is why I love branded campaigns. It's just because it, it, you don't, it's not an, an inherently scalable campaign, but it, it's just it's just going to scoop up loose change a lot in a lot of loose change more than i actually anticipated to be honest with you um so that is just kind of a quick overview of how you optimize campaigns based on low you know lower amounts of data ideally we'd love to have hundreds of conversions thousands of conversions but sometimes you know you have a lower budget and you know we're just using a lower budget to wait out the kind of period where Google's going to overspend a lot. Uh, you'll see a lot of people complain about this when they uh, start campaigns in the middle of the month. We've been a little lucky it hasn't overspent. Um, but that is how you optimize with lower budgets. If you have any questions, drop them below, and I'll see you in the next video.